Are you as glad to be here as I am? Are ya? I hope so because God has his eye on you. His eye is in the middle of his heart and his arms have never been too short to save the book of Amos foretold. We have to have an awakening because he's bringing us the treasure of excellence. Arr, so ahoy all ye mateys. And it's come time to look for our bounty, our booty, uh, our treasure of excellence, our excellence of treasure that is Christ the Lord alone. Our are you ready for that? Because he is the priceless pearl of great reward. Arr. And I like going out into the deep because that's where passionate people go. Deep calls to deep. And if you're willing to go away from the safety of the shore, you can only find treasure out there. Otherwise, you're not going to be a good pirate. So don't do that. Kids, it's time for the Mr. R Show. And you can call me Dan, Daniel, Danny. Don't call me late for dinner. But either way, God's love is always going to keep his eye on you. And so if you dig that, it's time to get happy. And because no matter what we do, God has, in spite of kind of love, he loves us in spite of. Uh, it's not about what we do, our. It's what about he's done for us. If it was about what we do, then some of us could boast. Oh, we did right. We did good. God likes us best. That's there's, God always loves us all the same. Everyone who has their heart a love with love. And so it's time to get happy. And it's time to look for my glasses. Oh, there they are. My glasses, sometimes I hide them on top of my head. I got some timer. Sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't. That's what happens when you get to be an old guy. Because I was looking in the eye of crazy imagination. I like Star Trek, so I like the Borg, and they had all those cool lights. So I started thinking about all that so much that Mr. R here got so heavenly minded. I was no earthly good. I just wanted to go sailing off for the sapphire sea on high. I just wanted to go to the bottomless uh, blue crystalline ocean of his undying love and come forth out into the deep kids with me, Mr. R. And are you ready to lift up the anchor? Then go ahead and do it right now. Don't even think about it. Are you ready to hoist the sails? Go ahead and do it right now. Don't think about it. Don't put off what should be done today. Are you ready to turn the wheel and head out to the east as far as the west where our sin never will be heard from again, tossed into the Davy Jones locker? Are you ready for that good news? Because God say, I am your God. You are my children. And because I love you, he says, I have forgiven all of your times when you're bad. So, and he says, and I forgive you and I will never remember it again. Jeremiah 31, 33 to 35. And Laura says, are you ready to be forgiven? Are you ready to never be ashamed anymore? No more shame, no more guilt, because he loves you in spite of anything that you have done, will do, are doing. And it doesn't matter whether we're good or bad. He doesn't have a light bulb turning out. You did something bad. Now I hate you. Now I love you. Now I hate you. Now I love you. No, 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 no. I've never been like that. Love is not even love unless it's loyal and devoted. So turn your hearts to your fathers and to your mothers and realize that even if you think that they only love you because or they only love you if it's not true, uh, they love you deeply. Most people love their kids. And if they don't, there's something wrong. Uh, there are people in the world suffering from like mental illness, and that's so sad. So uh, I'm going to pause this for one second. And while I figure out what happened to my radio, that's to have the radio. But one thing for sure, love from love, kids, hope from hope, and peace from our Prince of Peace. And it's time that we receive mercy from he because he is 
our living mercy and he wants the very best things for each and every one of us so it's time to realize more than ever that he is our brother our friend our lord and he wants only the very best for all of us and if we can dig that no we can bury that booty and nobody gonna steal away his love that's the best treasure of excellence to have because he is the priceless pearl of great reward so be a good treasure guy and go way out and so in this time of his love just exploding because God is now pouring out his spirit on everybody the good news is this and I'm so excited when I first found out but it's time to have a reflective uh, introduction to the climax of what all the prophets say that the prophets say that a, a time of love is coming did you know kids a thousand years are is foretold a age of peace and an age of love and an age of people getting along can you imagine people getting along with each other and liking each other it's gonna happen people just gotta wake up out of their uh, gross darkness of their misunderstanding understanding of love because there's never been any gross darker darkness than the ignorance of love's unconditional love there's never been a, such a thing as conditional love conditional love is for a knockoff of love a fake love a, a veneer just a covering it's fake and so it's time to know that uh, these are the days where the Lord is doing something really good in these world and the uh, it's time to know that God's refiner's fire is falling from heaven. He, did you know, kids, he wants to change our love from silver kind of love into gold kind of love? And if we already got gold kind of love, if you're a good loving little kid like like I, I used to try to be when I when I was when I was sleeping I was really good too but one thing for sure uh, when we let that love shine we start walking the path of love and then there's never any condemnation over any of us but I will say that that all walking with the spirit of love uh, there he never going to be mad at them and so it, it's time to know that it's the real nervous moment especially for the adults Adults. they're always just nervous and they get bitter because life is hard sometimes and sometimes your parents seem like they only have a, a but or an and or if kind of conditional love but they really do love you I'm sure with all their heart and so it's time to burn within and so we don't walk down bad roads anymore so it's it's time to, to sing praises to a rising red of the ages. He's the baker of bakers, and he knows how to make the living bread, and because that's what he is. And he's bringing forth some very special, uh, sweet words of, of the spirit of love for all good kids. And I know there's not going to be any coal this year at all. Say, sat, I can't even say it, Santa, uh, he's got instructions to give only the very best this year because uh, there's no more devil on this earth. He'd been removed, as Daniel 12, 1 says, for a thousand years, kids. So Hosanna in the highest is a real serene song that all happy people need to start singing with great reverence because it is a beautiful melody and harmony and it. it. It flows together like Chinese music. I Lately, I've been listening to Chinese music. It's just very kind of nice. I like it. And know that the thumbs of love's oversight oversized heart of many mercies will give us our beat because his heart is beating in our heart his heart of hearts overflowing with good feelings for us and respect for love uh, unconditional love will give us harmony and the desire for love's attention to us will become our most treasured rhythm uh, and the Lord's overflowing glory is pretty darn dull in anybody's sight 
un, un, unless they open their eyes to the truth that love has never had any conditions. That's why in the Kingdom Age covenant that's been written for all mankind, he say to everybody with their love alive as a child, he say the same thing because he's not a respecter of man. He love everybody equally. So he say to all people, red and yellow, black and white, all are precious in his sight. And he say, I am your God. You are my children, and I love you with all of my heart, with a with a in spite of love. And I urge you, the Lord says, to have in spite of love if you want to be like me, your father, and love your parents unconditionally. Don't love them because or if that's fake love, God says. And so it's time to realize that his spirit of love is bright, shining brightly and the magnificence of his beneficence, his benevolent love, his charitable love is shining. And so it's time that we need to worship the earth uh, with looking towards heaven so we can be very heavenly good and no earthly minded anymore. And so our most excellent Lord of love, uh, he's bringing forth his inspired music that's coming forth ever so smoothly uh, as, as if he was a master conductor who's fluttering his baton in sequence to all of our thoughts of our love. And it's also a really sure thing, kids, uh, that love is the very special journey that he wants us to go on. And all roads of love do lead to love. Uh, and our water of life, he's now taking all of his beloved children on that road. And so go down the narrow, narrow road with me. That is the road that leads, leads to heaven with Christ's unconditional love for all people. And uh, the wide road is the wide road to hell, paved by our conditional love. Kids, because we practice letting our love wax cold and become, they call it desensitized. Because each day, people walking on that road, they decide, well, why can we rationalize and justify today to ourselves? Because uh, they don't want to, be, unto themselves, they don't want to be true. So they rationalize, justify why it's okay to be mean and nasty, why it's okay not to love this one, why it's okay not to smile or be kind to that one, why it's okay not to even be thankful to God anymore. Hard-hearted people, that's what happens when they have conditional love because people could have a million followers on Facebook and have no friends. That's the truth kids and know that it's time for the empowering supernatural winds of Christ's encouragement and his bliss and tranquility that is most ser serene that will strongly propel all good kids and all good pirates are like me and you if you're sailing out to the deep with me it'll encourage us to go out deep and so that we can embrace and hug the blazing illumination of his love to a, a great, a, a better place where we see all of his love is unending for us. And for all those who are bright enough to knock at his door, seek ye first the kingdom of love and knock and it'll be opened unto you. So if you're standing there knocking, kids, he love you more than words can say. He don't just love you, he adore you. He's devoted and faithful, just like your parents probably are to you. So don't misinterpret their love as if or uh, because kind of love. They got, I'm sure, unconditional love for you. Most parents do. And we're not created higher than God. If we could have unconditional love, hell, a doggy has unconditional love, kids. Everybody knows a dog loves unconditional. Do you think, kids, that God would make a dog who has uh, unconditional love a greater level of love than he does? Do you think God is capable of making a rock that's so uh, heavy that even he can't lift it? Are you crazy? Don't think that kind of silly stuff. Because then we become, uh, it's all stupidness. And then, like Rick Tripp says, and Bronson, Bronson, he knows too. Bronson's, oh, Bronson, he's going to do some puppet shows with me, I think. I can tell you all about Bronson for a minute. Bronson had a bad accident. And uh, a seatbelt saved his life. 
and all of a sudden the car flipped over because the the driver uh, went power tripping and was crazy for a minute and they they sped down a real quiet street and they flipped and all of a sudden he was hanging there upside down and pray for Bronson's recovery too, all you kids and all you adults if any adults are out there uh, because uh, he flipped over in the seatbelt that kept him from going through the, the window. Arr, that's no good. Uh, it also crushed part of his inside and they had to remove a big section of his bowels uh, 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 and then part of his intestine. And he got to recuperate for a while uh, ha having uh, not so good stuff. And uh, so he's got to have a nurse and so it's going to take him six months to a year to start healing up. But you know, the thing is, he's lucky because God loved him so much that he saved him from death. Uh, it was so close. If, if he hadn't had that seatbelt. So he got the better of both worlds. And Bronson was raised by Trudy and has a sister Tristan and Colt. And they're all, all their family. They're not religious people. And I'm not religious at all. Not at all. I'm spiritual and I'm loving. But religious people aren't loving. I don't find no love out there. I go to churches and mosques and temples and I can't get nobody to ever talk to me. Nobody liked me. I've been preaching for two years. I've got 11,000 videos and adults very, very ever, hardly never even say hi. Just people are just so unfriendly and everybody wants to think that I'm some kind of bad guy. When really, my secret disguise has always been uh, Captain R. And Bronson knows that he could be a good captain's uh, lieutenant if he ever wants to salute, but he don't have to salute me. He just needs to salute the captain of captains, who is Christ Jesus living in his heart, because all of the Tripp family, including Rick, uh, they're all very loving people. Uh, but religion says, if you don't believe in this or that, you're not a good this or that. And there is no good man. Are, are you a good kid? No, nobody's good, but yet everybody's good if love is living in us because that's Christ the Lord. So everybody say a special uh, uh, thanks uh, to God for uh, making Bronson better. And uh, Bronson says he's going to do a couple puppet shows maybe with me. So we got the healer of healers on the way for that guy. And he's our healer too, guys. Just like he take care of Bronson, he's going to take care of you. And so know that for all of those who are bright enough to knock on his great door of love, and great is the benefits that he'll open and he'll come into our hearts and it's like he'll have dinner with us. He'll sup with us, the Bible say. And it really holds true that the only regret that uh, any anyone could ever have about knowing our illustrious son of revelation about knowing the Lord who is our love living in us, uh, it's time to realize he's got arms that are huge, uh, too, never too uh, short that he couldn't save all people of his love. And nor could any followers of God's everlasting uh, lamb ever fail to count their many blessings, which naturally comes all the time from standing in the light of love. And love is forgiveness and forgiveness is love. It's not good to only forgive 70 times seven, like Jesus say, 70 trillion times 70 billion quadrillion that's what Bronson say I know it and so it's time to get with the new program the new program of letting music flow and if we will it's going to be time where our living Lord of Lords will shine his love and it'll take us up high and lofty lofty because he's uh, one of the names for God is Jehovah Nisi and he has a banner of love over all of us. So know that as the life of our Lord of love is held up, that we can all see his banner of beauty and we can look towards his most fabulous signs of wonders with trusting hope uh, because these are the days when he promised to cut short all of our uh, 
the worst stuff so that no all flesh wouldn't be lost. He says that in Matthew 24, 22. And so these are the days when the wisest of children will seek him with all of your wanting hearts because his treasure can never ever be taken away from us. And so in this hour, I guess I'm going to say it's the hour of power. And if you want that kind of treasure of excellence, come on back and uh, tell your friends. Love y'all. Bye now.